a Maryland woman had a run-in with a pit bull that led to her Tesla getting damaged. What are you waiting for? In several TikTok videos, she showed the pit bull biting and tearing her vehicle while she and her dog were in it. <sighs> Olivia said the attack began because the pit bull was outside without a collar on. She was able to run to her car for safety, but did get bitten and scratched. No, the dog attacking me. The f <sighs> oh my f God, dog. She also said she stayed instead of driving away because she didn't want the dog to bother any kids. The woman posted another video sharing text messages with the pit bull's owner, where they offered to cover costs for doctor's visits, vet bills, and car repair. The owner also wrote that the dog had no prior issues with aggression. This is Inside Edition Digital. Tonight we're learning more details about a dog attack in Prince George's County. So far more than a million people and counting has seen this incredible video behind me. It has gone viral on TikTok. As you can see, it shows that Pipple there attacking a Prince George's County woman's car. She's sitting inside that car, her Tesla completely torn apart by this pit bull. Fox 5's Tisha Lewis joining us live from Upper Marlboro with more on this. The story just continues to get crazier, Tisha. That it does, and the video is quite terrifying when you watch it. Now, we just learned just moments ago, Prince George's County Animal Control emailed us detailing how this dog was detained. Apparently, the dog was tased before being detained and then brought here to Prince George's County Animal Control. The woman was trying to roll up her window when the pit bull begins to try to attack her, ultimately biting her, and then biting through the lining of the Tesla. Prince George's County Animal Control says they are looking into this and working with police to investigate. Based on the video and the TikTok post, police say this happened the afternoon of December 2nd in Temple Hills. Police say the victim apparently bitten by the dog. She posted pictures showing her injuries. We also reached out to Tesla and we're waiting to hear back. No, the dog attacking me. The Quite horrifying, and that snippet pretty much tells it all. Meanwhile, the victim and the dog's owner ultimately exchanging a series of text messages where the dog's owner agrees to pay for the victim's medical expenses and even advises that the dog be put down. Back to you. The edit tunnel here, and let's check out our top story of the day. Look at this video. We have so many people across the country are talking about it. A pit bull attacking a Tesla in Prince George's County. That owner sharing this video. She's in the car as the dog is attacking. After she was able to get away from the dog, she did suffer some minor injuries. It was the car that took most of the damage. But remember, Prince George's County has a ban on pit bulls. So that's why we're here in our sound off topic of the day at the DMV zone. A big board. Just that video. You can't get enough of it. It's so wild. Joe Claritan of the Plaza, Web Chief John Colucci with us, and Producer Haley. Each of you get 30 seconds of sound off on this. Joe, I mean, we saw this video, and like you said, it's hard to believe that this happened in our backyard. Well, here's what I'll say about this. Number one, I'm glad that the owner, the, the woman is fine, and then the owner contacted her and said, hey, we'll do everything we can for you. We'll take care of medical bills and maybe even euthanize this dog. But uh, what are Tesla's made out of? That's what I want to <laughs> What are Tesla's made out of? Did you see what he did to the fender? Elon, you got to do better with that fender, man. I don't trust that one at all. The Whatever dog bit is, through the, the dog, fender. The dog really liked it. Uh, John, this video has absolutely blown up. I think it's so hard <laughs> to wrap your head around. What is happening here? The dog's eating the car. Yeah, and I think what I think about this, there's a lot of debate online about, like, pit bull ban, should they exist? You know, is it, does it really do anything? And in, in my view, it comes down to the owner of the dog and kind of, you know, making sure that they're taking you know, control of the behavior of the animal yeah. and doing training. I mean, I had a 
very adorable black lab swat me in a certain location and I was in pain for a little while. <laughs> you know what I mean, guys? Um, so, again, adorable black lab can do it. But, you know, I think it really comes down to, in the owner, it sounds like they're cooperating, but what else could have been done to try to put this pit bull on the right path for yeah. that behavior? There's a lot of adorable pit bulls out there. So too. tough because we've heard uh, things like this happen before. Haley, uh, we talk about this ban. We have had that insta poll, and we'll check back in with it in a second. But it seems like for some reason, unfortunately, some pit bulls can be amazing, and then others just one day snap. Yeah, I think regardless of how you feel about the ban, there was a ban in place. So that's just something worth noting. But then on top of that, you see what it did to a car. So to know then that what that animal could do to a person is just yeah. really scary. Um, but it, and. It, I know John said it could be the owner. This owner said, I mean, he was very apologetic in the text that were on the TikTok, but he said nothing like this had ever happened yeah. with that dog, and they had it for five years. So I guess you just never really know with the dog. Totally, and it seemed like there was nothing that was going to rain in that dog. Uh, all right, hopefully we'll hear more as to what happens next. Uh, let's head back down to the plaza. Joe, you're talking to people, showing people this video. How are they reacting? Uh, people cannot believe it. A lot of people haven't even heard about this story until I show them uh, the lights falling. In. <laughs> but people haven't even really heard about this story. But I did catch up with a few folks, and here's what happened out here in the streets of Bethesda. Check this out. Did you see this video? Nope. So, so a lady was in her car. A pit bull ate a Tesla, like attacked a Tesla. Like, you have to see this, this video. You're not going to believe this is her screaming in her car, and it happened here in our region. My question is, so the question is, should there be a ban on pit bulls? Should this one attack be, you know, how we judge all of the dogs that come from that? No, no ban? No. No, no ban. It's the, you think it's the owner's fault? Usually. What are we going to do with these dogs? It's not the dog's fault for being a dog, is it? Are we blame? It wasn't a rabbit dog. This is a dog. Let's see what other people have to say. A pit bull attacked a Tesla and tore it apart. <laughs> kill the dog? Oh, she just said kill the dog. But the dog was being a dog. My man, did you see the video of the, 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 the dog attacking the Tesla? But if a dog attacks a Tesla, is it the dog's fault for being a dog? He says, it's a dog, let it be. She says, kill the dogs. There's a ban on pit bulls in Prince George's County. But is it all dogs should get colored like this? You know, be, be seen as a vicious dog if it's a great dog. But then you do have bad dogs and attacks as well. So here's the thing. One woman said, kill all of them. And I don't think that that's the right solution. But you do have to do something to protect people from vicious dogs. But these dogs aren't just vicious dogs. I know plenty of pit bulls who are the most docile dogs you've ever met in your life. So I don't know what to do. I know we do have a ban. Uh, I hope that, that, that this video makes them re, you know, look at the, ban, at the ban and what can be done when things like this happen. But like, again, I'm going to say, they need to find out what Teslas are made out of because it was <laughs> something delicious for that dog, Marina. Yeah. He chewed that, he toyed that dog like a chew toy. No, for sure. I mean, and that is evident. I, I just don't think that this aids the ban in reversing it in any way. And I think a lot of people fight constantly to nah. say pit bulls are often maligned. Again, this video does not help uh, that case. But there is a ban in Prince George's County. We'll see what happens. Thank you, Joe.